All right, in this example, we're being asked to figure out how much addition, a company with a target capital structure, and the target capital structure is 30% debt and 70% equity, and companies automatically A company's going to automatically, spontaneously generate equity if they have retained earnings. So in this problem, it's assumed that they are going to have retained earnings of $50 million. If they just simply retain the earnings and don't add any more debt, then it's going to change their capital structure. So right now, let's just make up some numbers. we got assets equal to debt and equity. And let's say that debt is three hundred or three billion dollars, and the equity is seven billion. So the grand total between these two is this firm currently has assets that are. equal to the 10 billion. If they add, and so the percent debt and the percent equity that would be debt's 30 percent and equity is 70 percent. Now, if the firm simply retains $50 million and doesn't add any debt to it, all right, so that'd be the beginning, the change, and the ending. What you have here is still with $3 billion of debt, but now you have $7 billion of equity, which means that Assets and equity have gone up, but not debt, so it's changed your target capital structure, or it's, it's changed your actual t capital structure from your target. All right, so they're going to have to add something here to keep the balance the same, and the balance will be the same as long as however much they add in here. Right now, they're adding only... Right now, they're only adding equity but no debt, which means that they're going to have to add some debt in here. And if I just guessed at the number, put 20, well, that's in the right direction, right? Well, to get the exact number in there, the new equity would be equal to 70% of the total new capital, okay? And I don't know how much new capital, but I do know that the new equity would be $50 million, And that's equal to 0 0.7 times total new capital. Okay? So, if I want to know total new capital, that would be equal to the $50 million divided by 0 0.7. Just simple algebra. And so, if I took this... 50 million in new equity and divided it by the target capital structure proportion of equity, that means the grand total would be 71 million and change. All right, so I'm just going to paste that up here. And that minus the portion that is equity, that would be able, then I would be able to keep the proportions the same. Okay, so how much new debt will Boeing have to add? A uh, little over $21 million to match the $50 million here. 